Hi, this is Mans with Quest for a Farm and today I am way outside of my comfort zone. Um, I have gone and bought uh, some super worms that we are going to try to pupate oh, um, to, uh, to grow for our chickens. Look at that one, it's blonde. Um, so basically what I'm going to do, I believe they round about the little right length to start pupating. I am going to take them out and, um, pupate them separately, but I want them to go just a little bit like fatter. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to be using wheat bran as my substrate and the advice I've been given is separate them out. You can see my little container's got a whole bunch of holes. This is just the container I got from the pet store. I literally only bought 20 because clearly I don't like worms. <laughs> and um, I'm unsure as to how well I'm going to do with this. So the boys will take over when it starts. Go in, go you naughty thing, don't. Yes, go underneath there. So what I'm going to do to feed them and try and fatten them up is give them plenty of veggies and water. So for the 20 of them, this is quite a lot. I'm, I'm not planning on handling them every day. So I'll give them that. I'm not going to chuck the rest away. You all know that I don't like wasting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grate my entire carrot and the rest of my carrot will go to my quails. So as soon as they're ready to pupate, um, I reckon probably a week, maybe two, I will show you how I'm going to do that. So just give them some carrot there. So they can fatten up, close them up, and that's stage one. So anybody who's laughing at me at the moment, I did actually touch them. Okay, so you can see most of the stuff is gone. Um, they are... Ugh. Ugh. Looking quite sprightly and lively. And the, I swear some of them are actually looking a bit fatter already. And one of them has shed, has shed its skin here. Um, so I can only assume that it's kind of getting ready to become a pupa. What is this? Oh, that's a piece of lettuce. So like you can see this, this one here, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> it's quite fat, yes. Okay, we are back, we are, um, I think about three, four days later, maybe five, um, on a very rainy Sunday afternoon, so we have decided that it is time to let our superworms go into pupa. So, um, as I still can't hold them because I'm being ridiculous, <laughs> I've enlisted Ruben's help. So, if you have a look at the worms themselves, he'll show you a nicer one. No, no. Um, the. Ooh, ooh. Oh, God, they're so gross. Okay, so I don't know if you can see this stupid one won't come out. That one can. Let me just flick it over there. Hold on. Can we just put, can I have one of your little, take that one and put it in one of your things. Hmm? Gently, gently. Yeah. Oh, okay. So. Um, if you can see here, let me see if I can shed some light on the matter. There you go. 
you can see it's probably a good two and a half inches or so and it's nice and fat so basically what we're doing is Ruben is busy poking I don't know if you can see these two tiny little holes here one two we're poking little air holes in them for super worms you definitely want to separate them out to make them go into a pupa stage so we poke the little holes on the side because we have decided that we are going to be storing them with their little lids on get on me stacked one on top of each other so we didn't want to poke holes in the lids whoosh oh shit um so we didn't want to poke holes in the lids so we are poking in the side so that we are sure that they're going to have enough air so we're going to leave them stacked like this in a darkish place for probably what was it two weeks or so yeah and then they will turn into pupa and about two weeks after that they will turn into the beetles which will lay the eggs which will give us more so um basically what Rue is doing is he's just heating a needle with lighter and using the hot needle to poke the little um holes in the tubs Okay, so here our superworms are on the little shelf in the dark, getting ready to pupate. So um, I've got the flash on just so that you can see where we've put them kind of thing. Um, you can see if I take it off, it is actually dark. So they'll sit there and do their thing. Hi, and we are back after like two weeks, I think it is. And... Um, I wanted to show you the stages of what's happening. So first your little worms are, you can see it's very much less active. It's just about to prove me wrong. And it's gone into that C shape. I think the light is actually disturbing it, shame. But you can see it's quite kind of sedentary. It's not nearly as wiggly as it was. So first they're gonna do that. Shame, let's get them out of the light. And then they are going to become pupa. So this is what the pupa looks like. I actually think it looks quite cute. So again, I'm not going to disturb this one too, too much. Um, so it'll be like that for a week or two. And then um, a little white beetle will hatch out. Um, this is what they look like when they're dead. They go completely, completely, completely dark brown to black, the whole worm. So, um, even when they're lethargic and they don't seem to be moving too much, don't stress about it unless you come and you have little charcoal sticks. Um, so this one will just discard and... Try again next time. We've only lost of the 20 we've pupated. This is the, it's the second one we've lost. Okay, so our pupa are now looking pretty good. So what we're going to do is empty them out into the top layer here. So that they can turn into beetles. Oh, I'll be back. Okay. All right, so we are back and I'm delighted to report that our pupa have all, I don't know what you call it, hatched or morphed, metamorphosized into hmm, the darling beetles, oh, darkling beetles. My son calls them the darling beetles. So the kind of lighter brown ones are the ones that are slightly younger the dark 
black ones are the ones that are properly mature. We still have one little guy. I think there were two last time I checked, yes. Two little guys who are in the change process and hopefully they will be laying eggs soon. So what I'm doing is I'm just adding them some more moisture. In here we're just going to add a couple of pieces of potato and um, you'll see they kind of, oh gross, suck the moisture right out of any veggies that they have. Hi there, so as you can see our darkling beetles have come to the end of their life cycle. Um, they have done their job and laid their eggs and that's kind of it for them so we'll clean this top section out um now this is why we do the three layers so we give this drawer a decent shake if you remember we put the mesh down here let me just show you so you can see the mesh there and you can actually see the stuff sort of falling through the mesh and as we shaking it all of the tiny little eggs fall into our bottom layer and they will start hatching in the sweet germ initially they're too too tiny to see um, you can see I've got a bit of a dried up carrot in here which I'll replace um, to give them some more moisture as they hatch and grow, we will move them out. We'll put some wheat germ in the bottom layer and move them over into here to stop them from cannibalizing the little, little ones. And as they grow, we will put them back into their little bear, uh, into their little um, plastic dishes to turn into pupa and into darkling beetles and so we'll carry on and build up our population so basically the whole purpose of doing this is that we want to create food and treats for our chickens so the darkling beetles on average a pair will lay 500 eggs and then we are hoping to, of those 500 eggs per pair, so I'm hoping for about a 1,000 eggs. Let's say we get a 50% survival rate, because this is the first time we're doing this. Then hopefully we should have about 500 superworms. We'll pupate another 100 or so out. So we'll have 400, which is a small, small little snacky snack for our hens. But as we go, we'll get more and more and more. Thank you so much for watching and bearing along with us for this journey. Um, I hope I've inspired you to create a superworm farm and make some good healthy snacks for your own chicken and quail. Yes, you too.